Heavy Metal ist in Indien absolute Außenseitermusik. Nur in wenigen Städten gibt es Clubs, in denen Bands auftreten können. Die südindische Metropole Bangalore ist für Fans und Musiker das Zentrum der kleinen, erst einige Jahre jungen Metal-Szene. We like to be rebellious. We like to portray our music in ourselves. You know, walk around on the street in a badass black T-shirt and you know, really, like in your face, I'm aggressive. And people tend to look at it and they go like, what's that? And I mean, what the hell is he wearing? I mean, and the cops go like, what do you think you're wearing and all that? They, you know, they lecture us. Why do you guys listen to such music and all that? Nevertheless, despite that, we listen to it. Uh, being an Indian guy, listening to metal, it feels great. Uh, you feel uh, unique. You know, you feel like, uh, you feel special basically because there are not of, uh, much of people, you know, listening to metal around you. There are not much of people listening to rock around you. you I mean, you get that. Uh, people don't like listening to English music here. Internationale Musik ist der breiten Masse in Indien außerdem schwer zugänglich. Bereits der Erfolg indischer Künstler hängt stark von ihrer Präsenz in Filmen ab. Musikkino aus Bollywood hat Tradition. Wer es auf die Leinwand schafft, wird auch im Radio gespielt. Generally people don't know about uh, bands being from other genres uh, except and, and not from Bollywood. They only know Bollywood song. If you say this song is good, he will say which singer or which film is that song from. Answer Suhas und Amayet haben vor wenigen Monaten Horns Up Entertainment gegründet. Sie organisieren Gigs und wollen lokale Nachwuchskünstler unterstützen, wie zum Beispiel Shashank. Hier mit der Band and Evermore. The difficulty is that uh, about the metal thing is that we don't get any investors first thing or sponsorships. Or sponsorships. Like, uh, which we goes, never get yeah. it. Like which goes say uh, if a international uh, DJ comes in India or if you can promote them, you get a hell lot of sponsors. Like corporate sponsors or beer companies, they'll put in like millions of dollars, they'll sponsor, but it's not same as metal scene. Heute findet zum ersten Mal das Moschfest statt. Mehrere lokale Bands treten in einem kleinen Club in der Innenstadt Bangalores auf. Eine Konzertidee von Horns Up. Lukrativ ist das jedoch nicht. Als Manager der Band Slither verdient Suhas ebenfalls so gut wie nichts. Im Blue Waves Club warten die Musiker auf ihren nächsten Auftritt. Suhas ist angespannt. Seit Stunden ist er an der Location und kümmert sich um Aufbau und Soundcheck. It's itching for me to just go and start moshing and headbanging. So it's like everyone in the band are like really excited about this gig because we are co-headlining. So it's the first time that we are actually doing this. So it's a good response that we actually got. So I'm just waiting for the fans to turn out and support us as well. Es kommen kaum Fans. Obwohl es in Bangalore für indische Verhältnisse überdurchschnittlich viele Metal-Anhänger gibt, bleiben bei Konzerten oft die Besucher aus. Eine Eintrittskarte zum Preis von 2 Euro können sich nur wenige leisten und Veranstaltungspläne oder gar Vorverkauf für kleine Bands gibt es nicht. It's not like we are putting up posters everywhere and telling. It's like people talking about it all over. Word of mouth and also social networking because everyone is like today everyone has a account on account. Many uh, Facebook, Facebook, Facebook thing, so anywhere. My thing for playing metal is just to like, you know, uh, get the feel like the aggressive feel in myself. So that pretty much sets it. And if I want to become a big musician, yes, I have to struggle. I need to work my way, you know, through the maze or whatever you want to call it. In Indien bedeutet Leidenschaft für Metal besonders große Anstrengung. Noch ist die Szene zu klein, um gesellschaftlich akzeptiert zu sein. I can, I can be the uh, good guy and tell you uh, that uh, India is ready for metal and you know a lot of people are playing it and all that. But I can be the bad dude and you know go like, I mean the crowd re here isn't ready and uh, pretty big gigs happen and uh, usually there's no uh, good uh, crowd turning up for the gigs so I don't know I think India is not yet ready for metal. As far as I think 
Indian crowd hasn't yet reached the uh, you know the aggression and the uh, uh, whatever that's needed to be metal enough.